going to it. And let's see what's going on with the masculine. Spirit, please show me what is going on with the masculines at this moment. What is going on with the masculines at this moment? off from love here um, because there's still some maturity here um, that's needing to be um, these masculines are still going through um, some healing okay and maturing here decision. Okay, show me this maturity that brings the Saturn energy. So we have Venus, Saturn, and Libra. Okay, there's the envy here. Okay, truth being revealed here. Lots of self-reflecting going on. Lots of truth coming out. Okay. So there we go. I told you guys. Door to romance was blocked here. With this Venus as a challenge. These masculines are also having trouble with intimacy here. Um, just having trouble. Um, this masculine's having trouble at the moment. Um, you know, feeling vulnerable and opening himself up here, opening up his heart space to be vulnerable and to um, be intimate. Definitely at a crossroad here. Got to close one door to open up the um, the other door. This is what the this is what the vibe is. This is what it feels like. Yeah, this is a challenge for the masculine. There you go. There's the Libra energy. There's Libra again. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with the Libra. Um, a new romantic cycle is beginning. Okay, so this is new energy. Um, so these masculines, like I was saying, are really balancing out um, the scales, meaning balance, balance the situation. See, there's like a choice that needs to be made. Okay, but this decision that's being made is, um, it has to be, um, you know the truth, you know. This decision has to be made, and this choice has to be made on a connection here that is based on the truth, and, uh, you know, that's really in alignment with their personal truth, okay? <clears throat> Tell me about the Saturn energy. Okay, emotions are running high. Okay, I feel like for a while and for a long time, these masculines, um, their emotions were running high and they were trying to cover up, suppress, and hide their feelings here. 
um, from the feminine here, and also from, they try to hide it from some other people around in there. Okay, but now this masculine is ready to mature here, and really just bring a limit to that. Here, but right now, at the moment, they are having a challenge doing so. Masculine, they're doing a lot of self-reflecting and realizing, you know, that he really needs to uh, mature, okay? are the three cards here. So um, what came out here was this middle one. A new start is coming. Very beautiful energy. Okay. Adjustments are required. And the North Node, stepping out of your comfort zone. So these masculines are definitely acknowledging that they understand in order to bring balance to the situation with you, um, they are definitely going to, um, in order to have this new beginning, this new start with you, you're definitely gonna have to make adjustments and step out of their comfort zone and uh, definitely go towards their no, north no, note. of things being brought to light here you can see the door is opening this person seeing here the light here okay this person's um, deciding here in order to be truly happy they are definitely going to have to step out of their comfort zone and they're definitely going to have to make um, lots of adjustments to bring uh, this connection into balance here so we start with Libra here in this indecision this is with the karmic partner deciding to um, they just acknowledge and see the truth about this karmic partner, um, friends, family members, okay, apply that to your situation. Um, really just having to acknowledge, you know, it is what it is, you know, type of thing. <clears throat> I can start with the tarot. Let's put this tarot in. Got my rider weight, of course. Okay, let's do this. Oh, you know what? I did not even read the um, this crystal card. Number nineteen. Okay, 
beautiful. Okay, here we go. Acceptance. You see this? Acceptance. Okay, accepting the truth. Appetite works at the interface between consciousness and matter to let go of what is outworn in your life. What is outworn in your life? Okay, these mask ones are definitely, you can see this person is walking away here. This person has a strong desire here to walk away. Okay, even though they stayed in, in decision here um, for a while. Clear away confusion or guilt. Accept the truth about yourself. You are a complex being with credits and def defects. Defic deficits. Recognize these without judgment. Move away from aloofness or social alienation and show people who you truly are. Okay, I feel like this person's really been um, hiding their true um, self and having a hard time struggling to be um, show up as their um, authentic self. You have so much to offer by way of service as you access insights for the collective good. Be inspired. Discern truth within. Recognize what is real in your world and restructure your reality. Don't be deceived by false fronts and appearances. See what is actually beneath. This is definitely... Um, Lots of uh, reflection on the karmic partner, themselves, and um, you, the divine feminine. Develop your metaphysical perception. Things improve steadily. Understand that circumstances are merely learning opportunities. It is time to be of service to others and to teach what you know. The healing insight for this card is that your intuition knows what is best for you. Okay, um, and this says discerning the truth within, and it says Gemini. Um, so, uh, that is pretty clear. Okay, let's get into the details here. That will just be bigger picture. You know, you guys know I like to start um, with a bigger picture, and then I like to break down into the details. The tarot reader gets their um, their process different, their video is different. This is just what works for me. connection spiritual union here okay there's definitely a commitment here wanting to um, begin um, and this person sorrow reverse this person's releasing their sorrows okay they were um, crying over spilled milk okay crying over their enemy and just dealing with grief and ending and um, just realizing that they have to move on from the past See what the masculine wants to say. Masculine, what do you want to tell us here with this wedding? I believe Venus is still in Cancer too. It's a very emotional, sensitive time, especially for the masculines who are just not really used to being um, in touch with their feelings and emotions, you know, outwardly. Okay, they're so used to hiding them. Okay, masculine, what do you want to say here with this wedding? More about this wedding. More about this wedding. What do you want to say? Okay. This masculine says you inspire me. Okay, so you're really inspiring here, um, your person, uh, to really move on to calmer waters, um, and just really um, move on to a better um, headspace. Okay, 
um, your masculine is seeing just how strong um, and beautiful you are and how strong you're able to um, just really after the pain and challenges and struggles after all the bullshit that they put you through you're able to overcome those challenges and uh, just stay mentally strong and uh, just really be the bigger person and uh, just showing the maturity okay so this masculine is really seeing you grow and uh, in, in your abundance and um, just really feels inspired to do the same and just to really follow your lead um, like they say the uh, feminine energy um, <clears throat> the feminine energy like they say leads in the uh, like the metaphysical sense in the 5d and then the masculine leads in a 3d okay so um, yes um, so this masculine says I need more time to figure things out You inspire me and I need more time to figure things out. So definitely um, trying to get their money together, trying to be um, self-sufficient financially here, um, and just overall working on um, mastering themselves here. Lots of self-reflection going on here. Okay, lots of uh, emotions coming up. Okay. You inspire me. What do you feminine? What are you inspired by? What are you feminine here? You're inspired by the feminine. Purpose. Oh, this is beautiful. Purpose. I know what I'm here to do. Okay, this masculine is like, damn, you know, she's found her purpose. Okay. She's overcome obstacles and challenges in her life. She's dealt with her karmic situations. She's put up with my bullshit and she knows what she's here to do. Okay, you are definitely inspiring this masculine to step into their purpose here. You know, because they see you. You've had these failures here. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Okay, this masculine's seeing you at your worst here. Okay, when you didn't really have so much self-love, you really didn't, um, you weren't able to fill up your own cup. Okay, um, but this masculine, see, you know, you came out of this indecision, okay? They were still stuck for a very, very, very long time in this indecision energy, and you decided to take the lead here in the 5D, and you came out of this indecision, this confusion, okay? and you decided to persevere. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So this is a lot of, um, this past ones are very inspired by that. Purpose. Yeah, completion. Okay, this is a completion of a karmic cycle here. Okay, you've completed your cycle. You've done the work. You've done the healing feminine. Okay. These masculines here. Okay. They do not want to leave this old foundation of being overly focused on the material world. Um, you know, just being very narcissistic, ungrounded here, and only caring about money, only caring about how things look like. Okay, this person is realizing that it is not just what um, things look like on the outside. Okay, um, and they're realizing here that they still have some maturing to do here. They still have some self-mastering to do. Okay. Also, they see you've released fear and they are very inspired to do the same. Okay, so this masculine says, I need more time to figure things out. I still need more time to figure things out. Okay, releasing doubts. This person is, this masculine is definitely still working on, like I said, Eight of Swords Reverse is all about, um, this person is really in the grit here. I release the need, I release the need to know all the answers. This masculine is coming out of doubts and sorrows here and just focused on healing. Okay, that's the last step they need to do um, to move away from this karmic situation 
and two healing hearts. Let's come out of doubt here. Masculine flowers. There you go. Page of Wands, going down a new journey here. Getting the strength, courage, and confidence here. After a time of just really being unmotivated to put the work in um, to, uh, to heal and uh, to grow. Okay, this masculine was definitely stuck, stagnant, not moving here in the physical. But now this masculine is like, you know, getting his wand ready here to take action here. This person's just, uh, just patiently moving here. Okay, so definitely still needing time because this is, this is page energy. So this is a new journey that is just be, um, being started here. This is beautiful though. This has been a long, long journey. Okay, so overcoming your sorrows here. So definitely getting ready to commit to the feminine here. Um, just needing to work their wounds still before this new romantic cycle begins. Or the masculine is reflecting on this. Okay, this false foundation that's crumbling. Um, this is an old foundation that's crumbling here. A false security um, system, a false sense of security here that they've uh, built up here with this karma here is definitely falling and uh, just being bulldozed um, because there is there's no real security in that. Okay, this masculine is also reflecting how they want to step into this lover energy. This is Nine of Cups. They want to move forward here to have this reunion here, to reunite here with the feminine. Okay, this person is ready to wear their heart on their sleeve. Ready to wear their heart on their sleeve to have this reunion and this love offer here with this feminine. Money is right. This is the card. Okay. Masculine says, they are trying to convince me to leave you. So uh, these karmic partners here are um, the old foundation that they were on that is crumbling. Um, it's just been all about these unhealthy relationships. And, um, you know, the karmic partner is trying to convince this masculine to leave you. Yeah, lack of growth. Yeah, lack of growth. My old connection. Releasing fear. And uh, moving on from grief and sorrow. That was that, um, when I said releasing sorrow energy, um, that's what that was all about. Okay. They're trying to convince me to leave me. This masculine knows, it's like, yeah. There's the 19, there's the sun, deciding to be happy. Okay, this has been brought to light. This masculine is acknowledging that the karmics, he knows that the karmics are trying to convince him to leave you. Okay. They're trying to leave There was a lack of closure before here. This masculine still had some lessons to take care of um, before this truth was acknowledged, which was really um, stressing this masculine out here, okay? Keeping him up at night, not being able to sleep, okay? Really putting a lot of pressure and stress on this masculine out here and just really wearing this masculine out to where they couldn't think. Here we have the star. This is Aquarius energy. Um, but now it's like you see the truth. This masculine sees the truth. They're acknowledging the karmic partners are trying to sabotage him to uh, convince him to leave you. But this person is like, no, nope, I need to push forward here towards the future. And uh, I just need to heal here. Okay. Let's see this um, four swords. What was this masculine? What are you? What was the stress of the four swords? Four swords. <clears throat> King of 
of Pentacles as the challenge. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> this person is poison, toxic, unhealthy behavior people. Okay, yeah. So some, even the community. I'm just going to say the community here. Okay, this karmic per partner. This person is very toxic, unhealthy. This masculine is acknowledging that. And um, uh, these karmic partners, you know, were mentally unstable, it looks like. And there was a lack of closure on that here. And uh, your person's ready to heal here because they see that. and then we have peace at the bottom of the deck. Acceptance. These masculines are accepting here their fate, their destiny here with the feminine. Okay, I'm learning to, I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Peace. I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. Isn't that the whole reason we're here, is to grow and expand? Okay. Acceptance piece. What message do you have for the feminine? Acceptance energy. What message do you have for the feminine? Okay, Seven of Pentacles. Okay, um, patience planning here to move forward now. Okay, so this masculine is just waiting to grow. Okay, still growing, needing more time. So patience and planning. But he says, she just wants my money. Okay, but he's like, bitch, fucking with you, I have no money now. Okay, that was for somebody. Um, yeah, that's just the truth. Just person just wants this masculine for his money. You know, it's just person just accepting that. Okay. I've thought a lot about you lately. This is Ace of Pentacles. This is Ace of Pentacles energy. Ace of um this is Ace of Pentacles to me. How I read that. I've thought a lot about you lately. Okay, this person is planning a new planting a new seed here. Okay. My new seed manifesting this new beginning here with you. So we're getting there slowly but surely. Here. Okay, seven and one is obviously eight here. So that would be the eight of pentacles. Really working hard here to move on from these unhealthy, codependent, toxic um, person or people or community. Okay. She just wants my money. Okay. Challenging my new beginning in love. This masculine is saying, okay, challenging my new beginning in love, making it difficult for me to practice self-love. Okay, blocking my peace. Okay, she just wants me for my money, making me feel inadequate, making me feel like a misfit. Making me feel like I'm, you know, not making enough money. Okay, making me feel more and more insecure. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Let me see this. Uh, Hermit reverse. What is that for? Hermit reverse. Okay. You feel like home to me. Seven of Swords, okay. You feel like home to me. Okay, so this karmic partner had this masculine thinking that they weren't um, good enough, they were inadequate, maybe as a provider. Okay, just 
just it's like no matter what they did, these masculines did, these karmic partners were still making them feel like they were still inadequate and like it just wasn't enough. Okay, you feel like home to me? Two of Pentacles, something is still missing for me and I'm still trying to figure it out. like something was always missing didn't I just say that it's like something was always missing that's how these karmics have this masculine feeling anyway all these cards just came in like that. something is still missing for me and I'm still trying to figure it out okay but this person was really just playing it safe here. This was like a safer bet here. Because these masculines, you know, were scared and scared of love. Scared to go towards you because um, they are, you know, inner childhood wounding. So this person's karmic partner felt more like a safe bet. This person felt familiar um, because it reminded them of their childhood. You know, maybe the drama, the chaos, okay. Um, the abuse, physical, mental, verbal abuse. Okay. So this person was just playing to save. That's why they're saying something is still missing for me and I'm still trying to figure it out because it's like this feminine here is just wanting this masculine just for the money. accepting and acknowledging the truth of that there's acceptance again and they just want peace okay reunion nobody compares to you masculine says Nobody compares to you guys. Excuse my writing. I just kind of was in a rush and made these really quick. So you know, for the family and the masculine. I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. He's finally feeling the consequences of his actions. Okay. He says he was obsessed in denial and didn't want to face the truth and the reality. Okay. Okay, these flew out, so I'm just going to take these. We have regret. Lots of regrets. I know I cannot change the past. Okay, health reversed. Okay, was very unhealthy in the past, toxic, codependent behaviors, um, you know, alcoholism, you know, addictions here. This person knows they were unhealthy in the past. Okay, but this person is ready for a change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. There's the emperor that just flew out. There's the divine masculine making his appearance. <laughs> Going in hermit mode, really uh, just searching for truth, self-reflecting, like I said. Okay. Okay, here we go. We have the moon, empress reversed, ten of wands reversed. Okay, this masculine's definitely hiding here, being secretive. Um, but there's nothing to worry about because this masculine is just hiding here, hiding their feelings, emotions here as they release this burden here, as they release this karmic partner or this community. Okay. That's the secret here. That's being, uh, this person working on removing this person out of their life, cutting ties. Okay. Just self-reflecting here and becoming the divine masculine. Okay. So they can take action towards the feminine. Okay, finally feeling their feeling the consequences of their action. Things are catching up to them, full of regret, but ready for change. They realize that they were in denial here. Okay. And didn't want to face the reality. 
But like I said, the emotions are running high and that's what this person is hiding. And that's why this person is quiet. Okay, this person needs a little bit more time to come to um, their senses and uh, continue to ground themselves. Okay, just got a burnt stuff. Okay, this nasty ones here are ready to um, really communicate here, but it's kind of stuck right now. Okay, this is more of an emotional time rather than a speaking time. Okay. A new start is coming. Okay. The last one's want to say, a new start is coming. Okay. Here's the key. Here's the room. Empty, nobody's there. Um, this is, I read this as a hermit card. Okay. There's a self reflecting again, spending time alone. Yeah, there you go. Spending time alone, really reading here, getting a lot more smarter here, studying, just really analyzing everybody in the community around them. Okay, person could be doing a lot of reading here, a lot of studying here, studying on, um, you know, the twin flame union. Um, learning more about twin flames, finding out more about soulmates online, or a person could also be watching tarot videos too. Um, either way, this person is just doing a lot of self-reflecting. This is Roman Scholar. Maybe this person is uh, searching online about telepathic communication between soulmates or twin flames. Okay, and a karmic friend came out and reversed. Okay, so trying to release a karmic friend. Tell me more about this karmic friend. Tell us more about this karmic friend. better headspace now. Okay. Maybe this is a falling out with a karmic friend. Let me see more about the karmic friend. Okay, pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Success, and then there's death. Okay, here's a successful ending here. Okay. Pride, success, and death. I know there's no greater goal than to love. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Okay. Releasing karmic. I'm in a much better hit for this Tell me about this card. Yes. Releasing Three of Swords Reverse. Releasing Heartbreak, Pain, Sorrows here from the past. Okay, this person was definitely confused here. This is a Queen of Swords Reversed energy. Um, type of bitter person here. Bitter... Uh, feminine energy here, really manipulating, confusing um, this person, keeping this person in chaos and conflict in their minds, keeping them mentally confused. Okay, but this person um, with this three of swords reversed and this I'm in a much better headspace, um, this is all air. Sword, sword, swords. Okay. Oh, yeah. Bottom of the deck. Oh, wow. Page of Swords reversed. This is all about deception, manipulation here. Okay, also some self deception, some self sabotage. This is all swords. It's 
so definitely a manipulative feminine energy getting cut out here and bottom of the deck here the fool taking a leap of faith here and there's a new start a new start is coming stepping out of the comfort zone making the adjustments that are required I see third quarter. This is your person's three quarters of the way there to you because things were brought to light here um, about this karmic partner. So new moon, Libra, new moon, super moon. Lots of new energy coming in. This is why this death energy is here. So it looks like it was a success with ending the karmic partner. The par karmic partner got cut out. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. Okay, okay. Tell us about this. I'm in a much better headspace. High Priestess reversed. Four of Wands reversed. This person, um, you know, the manipulation is not uh, working anymore. Um, this person seeing shit for what it actually is, realizing that this person, that Queen of Swords reversed, this person had a hidden mo hidden motivation here. This person's definitely um, like a home wrecker here. This person was trying to destroy your guys' union. Okay, and this is what this masculine is acknowledging. So they know, they know, they definitely know how to use this reverse for a long time. Okay. It says, I'm being faithful to you, Divine Feminine. Okay. Even though this person's been a burden, um, this masculine says, I'm being faithful to you, Divine Feminine. Once again, here she is. She just wants my money. Okay. She just wants to kick you out of the picture. And, um... Just wants to kick you out of the picture, put the divine feminine out in the cold so she can just have his money. Okay. okay. Tell us about this telepathic communication. person is has been having telepathic communication with you um, for a long time now it looks like um, but this person was confused uh, they couldn't tell what was real what was real what was fake what was reality what was an illusion um, but this person's things have been brought to light here okay the veil has fallen things have been brought to light and this person's able to um, tell where the telepathic communication is actually coming from and who it's actually coming from. Okay. Yes, there you go. And there you are. There you are. This person's really resting, contemplating a lot, thinking about um, his divine feminine. There you are, the Empress. This is so yeah, this person is not confused. This person knows exactly who you are. They know you are their twin flame, their other half. Okay. Okay, stepping out of my comfort zone. Tell me about that. Stepping out of my comfort zone. Priest reversed. They weren't trusting their intuition in the past here. But this person wants you to secretly know. This person's keeping this a secret at this moment. They're not saying this here. But uh, this person's ready. Really, really ready um, and excited here to step out of their comfort zone and to have a spiritual connection with you. They may not be saying that um, at this time here because they don't want you to see them. Uh, emotional window here. Um, but just know that that is what's going on at the moment. Okay. 
Our connection still affects me to this day. Okay. So we're just stepping out of that fear energy, moving forward here. Step out of your comfort zone. Cheerfulness. She's not telling the feminine. Okay. She won't leave me alone about you. Okay, karmic partner won't leave this masculine alone about you. Um, I'm telling you guys, this karmic partners are just like obsessed. These karmic partners are trying to stop this masculine's progress and their growth. Okay. Really angry here and frustrated here. Um, because the manipulation is just not working anymore. These masculines don't want to juggle anymore. Okay. These masculines are already have made their decision of um, who they want to um, have this new cycle with. Okay. And that's the divine feminine, which is you. Okay. It's partners just need to really come to their senses here. Uh, they really need to step back and just allow themselves to self-reflect also and uh, work on their healing. Okay, once these masculines pull back and pull away, uh, these karmic partners are going to have no other choice but to also self-reflect instead of projecting here and staying in denial. Okay. Our connection still affects me to this day. There you go. There's the lover, soulmate, twin flame here as a challenge here. It's been a struggle. It's been a challenge here. I also want you to know, although this twin flame connection, this journey has been um, really a challenge. You've had lots of people try to interfere in this union. This masculine wants you to know um, that the connection still affects them to this day. Okay, she won't leave me alone without you. There you go. Very angry here, communication. Okay. Mm -hmm. Really angry, just wants to come in and, uh, really angry, let's see. Knight of Swords or Karmic. What is this Karmic saying to the masculine? I know I screwed this up, and I have no idea how to fix it. Okay, I know I screwed this up, and I have no idea how to fix it. They know that they have taken this way too far. Yeah. Especially here, you guys, with the envy. Okay. I know I screwed this up, and I have no idea how to fix it. Spirit wants me to with this karmic partner. I know it's good to say, there's this karmic soul. Death. Yes. Ending. Ending, 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 ending. This karmic knows they fucked up because it's they're done. I mean, this is done. Okay, that's why they're so angry. Seven of Wands. Justice. They got their karma. The justice was served here. Okay, this is the Libra energy here twice that came out. Okay, what goes around comes around, okay? This is their karma, this is their justice. Okay, well, very, very angry and very defensive here that this masculine is leaving to have this new beginning and love here with you. They're also very um, angry, defensive that this masculine is um, really shutting them out to focus on their self-love. I just seen the karmic, the death card. Karmic endings, karmic endings, karmic endings, big time. Big time. I don't even need to clarify that. Don't even need to clarify that. So she won't leave me alone without you. Did I already do that? Yeah. 
trying to challenge um, your masculine strength and courage and focus here. This person's really trying to um, keep this masculine uh, insecure. Yeah, kind of keep them down. Oh, so sad. So sad. Oh, okay. These all flew out. These flew out on the Venus energy. Yes, okay. So these karmic partners are really trying to challenge the divine feminine, which is the Venus energy. Okay, they're coming out of heartbreak here. <laughs> the karmic partners are panicking. Okay, trying to slow them down from moving forward. The Four of Pentacles trying to hold and cling on to the masculine. Okay, Queen of Wands, there you are. Okay, there's a karmic partner. Oop, sorry, my face was itchy. Um, there's a karmic partner, Queen of Cups, Reverse, Water Sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Um, very emotionally manipulative, um, very unhealthy person trying to um, stop here and control uh, your destiny and your masculine's destiny, trying really hard here, trying to bring bad karma, but this um, this karmic partner is getting her uh, her karma now. This is bad karma here for trying to fuck with you here. This Queen of Wands, Sag, Sag, Aries, uh, Leo. Okay. Trying to cause confusion here. Okay. Trying to still play games here with this masculine. Okay, because why this masculine has thrown this karmic partner out in the cold, this gold digging person here. This person just only cares about money. Very ungrounded here, very superficial. Okay, very superficial, okay. Five of Pentacles, this person got thrown out into the cold, this karmic partner. Very upset, very disappointed, and uh, um, she looks like she's confused, okay? She looks like she's confused. Okay, she's confused, she looks like confused, disappointed. Okay, yeah, and this came out reversed. They are trying to convince me to leave you, and it came out reversed. And this masculine looks like a rejected part, yeah. <clears throat> the karmic keeps texting and calling me to, mani to manipulate me. And there you go. This came up like the fourth, third, fourth time in this reading. She just wants my money. This is what the Queen of Pentacles reversed is all about. They just want the money. Okay. Okay. are required. Let's do adjustments are required. I think, yeah, that's it. That would be it. Adjustments are required. Okay, there is the karmic community. The karmic partner connection here coming to a close. This masculine's coming out of despair. And like we said, to reunite with the feminine energy and to heal themselves here. Decision. So interesting. This uh, masculine started here, his journey here in the recent past. Um, stuck here in indecision, having a hard time moving forward and having a hard time um, gaining the confidence to move forward. And then we end the reading with indecision.
indecision reverse coming out of indecision. We have the full moon tomorrow. I'm so excited. This has been a long, tough journey here. I've been on my um, journey here with my masculine for uh, this August, actually. It will be four years. So we met during the old season, too. That's interesting. Decisions. Okay, let's close this out. Um, what is this mask going to do? Let me have an to dress into a card. This mask going to say the feminine to close this out. Okay, he wants to hold and cling on to you. Um, this masculine says, I feel so badly about the way that I treated you. I feel so badly about the way I treated you. person because of you. Wow. I am a better person because of you. That is so nice. Um, let me do one of these cards. Okay. Balance here. This came out in the struggle position. This masculine is still, like we said, trying to balance out these scales here. There's the scales again. Okay. To bring balance and love piece to this relationship okay so at the moment just struggling here this is a current challenge to balance here the old and then the new okay I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment Contemplating, excuse me, like I said, there's a lot of um, things this person here has to analyze, think of. Okay, so this person is not taking action yet, just in their head thinking about what they need to do next, um, what they're going to say to you, the current partner, you know, okay, just really in their head thinking how they're going to bring balance here. There is this yang energy, this is the magician energy, and this is the divine masculine energy. Um, your masculine here is manifesting this new beginning with you and uh, ready to go the distance here. You see the cheetah or is that a cheetah? Okay. This is really nice. Okay. Ready to cross that finish line here. Coming real fast here. Okay. Shedding the old here from the past and moving towards the future here. This is going to happen real fast. Okay, um, so that is all we have you guys for today. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this reading. Okay, so um, I appreciate um, all my subscribers we have so far here on the channel. For those of you who are new, um, I want to thank you for visiting to this channel and we want to welcome you. Um, you can go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. And those of you who are already subscribed, um, we just want to thank you so much for returning here and being subscribed to this channel. Okay, so that's all I have for you guys. Stay safe here. Um, focus on yourself and self-love here. And um, just stay happy, healthy, and keep healing. Okay, and um, thank you so much. Have a good night.